Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is still new, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. I am very close to a thousand subscribers. I am very excited about getting there. There's so many things that I can do once I have a thousand subscribers. I'm just so looking forward to it. For everyone who is already my watch, uh, watcher, <laughs> already my viewer, already my subscriber, thank you so much. Thank you for being on this journey here with me. I'm so excited to do this. I, you know, Spirit told me to do this channel and I was like, what? Why? Um, I see it every time I see one of your beautiful comments. Um, for those of you who are new, I am also an author. I'm writing an action adventure love story on twin flames. It's based on my life and my twin flames life. Um, it's called, I've written two books. It's called Perception, the two yet one, books one and two. I'm reading book one aloud to my Facebook friends and followers. Uh, there's 18 chapters in that book and I've gotten to chapter 13 you can find links for me reading that out loud in the description box. You can find links to purchase my books. You can find links to view trailers I made for them. You can find a link to the playlist that I made for the chapters and for the trailers. Um, you can find a link to my author's page on Facebook as well as my personal Facebook wall. Um, you can find some links that I did some lives on Facebook a few years back about my story. Uh, I up uploaded those here to YouTube. You can find links for that. You can find a link for my friend April's new astrology channel here on YouTube. She is so awesome. Check her out. Subscribe. And if you um, would like a personal reading, I would be very happy to do that. The information for that is also in the description box below. Okay, so let's get this going. For those of you who are not new to my channel, you may recognize the fact that I have some new cards. Um, these are the, this is the unicorn deck. Let me just show you here where they go. Here they are. Here's the box. This is the Unicorn Tarot by Suzanne Starr and illustrated by Liz Hilton. Um, it is just super awesome. I was gifted these for my birthday and I've been um, just kind of learning them. Now, for those of you who are not new, um, you know that my last deck, the Thoth deck, had no reversed meanings. This one does. And though I do read intuitively, I would, I do like to harness the energy that was put into a deck. Okay, so I have been learning the reversed meanings. I do have notes on them. So, um, but I'm still reading the positions the same way. And I'm just going to um, go ahead and offer you their um, their meanings for this deck, but I will also use mine, and I'm also going to feel out what my guides want me to tell you, okay? All right, so um, this is a minor arcana card. As a reader, I read this as um, all minor arcana cards as messages about your free will as a being, and I read major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you made before you incarnated as the person that you are. Um, so, I mean, it, you did that plan in order to uh, learn certain lessons, to raise the vibration of your soul. So what they represent is you've got free will, but you've also got destiny, okay? So at the heart of everything for you at this time, Gemini, you've got the three of pentacles. Pentacles is earth energy. That's Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. Three is the number of manifestation, okay? Um, pentacles are everything earthly, okay? This is health and wealth, and uh, this is some sort of cooperation, okay? This is an advancement in your career. This is some sort of success in your health and in your wealth. You, you see he's got tools there. He's very busy. Um, and uh, I just, I feel like there's something working in your life. In my uh, other deck, this is called Works. You have the idea, you have the the uh, goal, and then once you get the plan, it starts to work, okay? So this is also the works card. He is working, he is um, advancing in his career, he is succeeding, okay? So that's what you're doing right now, Gemini. Now, this is the... Um, this is the energy that is directly affecting what is at the heart of everything for you at this time. This is a timeless reading, by the way, whenever you are attracted to it. I trust that's when it's right for you. Here we have the nine of pentacles. 
Okay, so this is all about independence. So all this hard work is paying off for you, okay? All this working, all of this uh, effort that you're putting into um, your, your earthly life is working out. You are independent. This is, um, what, what do they have here for this? This is fondness for luxury and the comforts of home, financial and emotional security. Well, yeah, that's pretty much the same. I, I always say, like, see, in the other deck, there is no people or horses or anything in there. Uh, it's just uh, some designs. And I always say you'll see a single female among her nine discs. And this is sort of a card for the um, the empress. It's like the, the minor arcana empress. Because this is basically the energy that the empress needs to be in before she can advance up through the queen queendoms and become the empress. Um, uh, this feminine energy is independent. She's got everything except a counterpart, okay? So this is this energy. You've been working, you've been doing it independently. You've got everything that you need, okay? Except the counterpart. Now, this is the energy that is at the root of everything for you at this time, Gemini. And here we have Rod's energy now. We've gone from the earth now to fire. So this element is fire. Two of rods. This is like, I just... Okay, the notes for this say this is lesson learned, knowledge gained, time for change. That's what it says for this particular deck. But to me, you look at it, and it looks like he's, this person has made a choice. Okay? Uh, in my other deck, uh, the, you'd have two uh, Tibetan Dorjas. This was also my card for uh, Mars and Aries Retrograde. Um... Libra that I just did before you was totally all about how the masculine had been worked on and balanced out. So this could be referring to that as well. I seem to get similar messages for the signs that I do each night or, or the elements uh, for the signs that I do. I do earth the first night, I do air the second night, and fire the next, and then water the, on Thursdays. And, and so I, I find similar messages. So this is what I'm feeling, that this is the, the, your masculine energies have been balanced, okay? And you've also made this decision. You, you had two ways to go here. You picked up this one and you're feeling flipping good about it. You've got the world in your hand here. You're ready to just take the heck off here. It even looks like this unicorn is excited too. This unicorn is saying, you made the right choice because it's making you so happy, Okay? So that's really awesome. This is, you know, wands are fire, they're passion. Um, yeah, I just feel like kind of like the two of swords, you were, you may have been at a crossroads, you had a, dis, had a choice to make. And, and I, I think that you feel like you made a great choice. Okay, a, one that has to do with passion. Now wands are about career, this could have something to, to do with your career, but I don't think so. I think it has to do with, with love. Well, maybe for some of you, this is career. Not everybody has um, a love in their life. Okay. Now, because then we have this independence right here as well. But, woohoo, but, don't get ahead of yourself, Allison. Okay, all right. Now, this is the energy that is moving out of your life at this time, okay? And this is the, the five of pentacles, okay? Now, Look at that. That looks pretty peaceful. She's painting her unicorn. She's working hard. Um, this this is the uh, the lack consciousness card. This is in in the Rider Waite deck. You'll see people out in the cold. This is being left out in the cold. This is um, you know the lack consciousness where you you know your your glass is half empty instead of half full. That type of deal. But this is the reversal. Okay, this is reversed for you. So the energy that actually, my notes here say for this particular deck, this is prosperity, security, and a return to work. So, you know, this whole reversal thing isn't all that bad, is it? 
Okay, so with when it comes to all this COVID and stuff, there's been a lot of people, things have been shutting down and then opening up again and shutting down and opening up again. You were able to go back to work. So this began, now it's now this energy is on its way out because, you know, you were allowed back into work. You were working really hard and you were enjoying the fruits of your labor. You were in, you're independent, okay? You made a great choice. You're feeling good, all right? Now, the, the next energy that we're going to read, we have two future cards. Now, before, for those of you who remember, I would do like, I, I would think like if one was upside down, it wasn't fully manifested, so it was still a possibility. I'm I'm having to adjust for this deck here. Okay? But in this case for you, your both of your future cards are um oh, pardon me. <laughs> both of your future cards are uh right side up. Okay? So normally this is a future that will be a more immediate future and this will happen after that. But I'm having to just kind of fill it out now. So I go down and around and this is the first one that I read, and this is Cups. And I'm noticing here that you've got at least one of every suit here. So you are experiencing some balance in your elements. You've got, you've got earth, you've got air, you've got fire, and this is water. This is your one water that you have in this, yeah, in this deck, in this deck, in this spread. Now, this is the Seven of Cups, okay? Now, the Seven of Cups uh, in the other one, in my other deck, it said debauch, where you may have been um, a little confused. This, this is confusion. I mean, just look at this guy's face. It's like, what the heck? It kind of looks almost like the hermit. Like, which of these? Kind of looks like Christopher Lee, if you ask me. <laughs> Do you know what a badass that guy was? You should look up the video on what a badass Christopher Lee was, okay? He's that guy that played Saruman in the, the Lord of the Rings. Please watch that video on YouTube. It's awesome. Okay, so anyway, this is a, a feature. You might be getting confused. Yeah, because that's what this means here for this particular deck. It says uh, confusion, patience, and seek creative outlets, okay? Now, this is also options. Okay, now I'm feeling, yeah, I, I just heard uh, confusion from a lot of options. Okay, you might have uh, some options coming at you in your near future here, and they're just going to come out of nowhere. And some of them are going to be good, like this beautiful uh, alicorn here. That's what you call a unicorn pegasus. Um, it can be something beautiful, spirit this way. you got this awesome you know dolphin over here you've got some discs over here that look pretty cool but then you come over here and you got uh let's just hope that's pan and not a devil right i mean and then you got this dragon let's just hope that that's the wise nice kind and not the kind that's going to bite your head off and then and then you've got this beautiful cup of truth over here and then you got these little things i think they call yods um which is very magical energetic so, you know, you got a lot of different choices, and you know, and if you choose the wrong one, you might get your head bit off. And so you're like, what? What should I do? What the? Now, here is your next card, your next future card. And check out this guy. Is, you know, does he look like he is sweating the choices that he's got? So I, I really kind of think that I, yeah, I'm feeling like you're going to be offered these choices first. So this one will happen first. And then what you're going to have to do is just go inside, lay the heck down, and just start thinking about it. Look at that guy. You know, he's got almost that same expression on his face, like, all right, which one of those cups am I going to choose? It just, he is just chilling. I mean, I mean... Look at the way he's laying there. Look at the way his unicorn is laying there. They're just like, oh my God. Okay, so this says strong need for rest. Okay, you're going to need to take a rest. I think that this is the strong need. Okay, and this is all very mental. Take a mental rest. And so if you have some choices to make, uh, when I think of mental rest and choices to make, 
Uh, I think of meditation, contemplation. Go somewhere quiet. Hey, stop that. Sorry, guys, I had to stop my dog from licking herself. All right, so this is you going somewhere quiet, getting comfortable, even though that concrete slab doesn't really look very comfortable, um, and just letting your mind run. You know, don't try to think it out. Don't try to figure it out. Just breathe and let it run through your mind. And I think this is going to help you with your choices, okay? You're going to need some rest. You know, don't don't let your mind get away with you as air signs usually do. Don't don't let yourself have that nine of swords moment where you can't sleep, you're having nightmares and you're overthinking everything. Okay? Now, the next energy that we read is your hopes. This is the 10 of rods. Okay? And now this is this is where this reversal stuff is starting to make more sense here. Okay, so as a hope card, okay, uh, the, the meaning of Ten of, of Rods is oppression. It's, you know, carrying a heavy load. Nobody hopes for that. It's reversed. You are hoping to rid yourself of obligations and responsibilities and to have an opportunity to relax. Well, it is coming. It is coming, my friend, my Gemini friends. So if you're hoping for an opportunity to relax, because that's what this, this says for the reversed meaning for this particular card in this deck, that's what it says. Rid oneself of obligations and responsibilities. Opportunity to relax. Okay? So for some of you, you're, you're going to contemplate your options. Okay? And, and you're going to go inside. You're going to like meditate for that. But for others of you, I'm feeling like maybe what happened is that um, you can't work anymore. Maybe these options is, is trying to figure out if you need a new job, what you're going to do about this not being able to work. Okay, so that's just for a few of you. Now. This is the energy uh, that is your state of being, okay? Now, I've been talking about this this whole time, you know, Six of Swords. In the other deck, it's called science, going on like a mental uh, journey of discovery. That's what scientists do. They ask a question, they get an answer, you, gotta, you get more questions, and you keep going until you find out some great truth, right? And I would always say, but sometimes this means moving on. Look at, and I would say, there's a boat and there's six swords in there and he's moving on from choppy waters to smoother waters. Well, there you go. There it is. Okay. But for you, this is reversed. So for this deck, this says impaired judgment and logic, potential to repeat past mistakes. Okay. So there's something that your judgment and your logic is off. Okay, now a potential to repeat a mistake is present. I have a feeling that you already know this. Okay, and this is also probably part of your, your confusion up here. All right, because you, you're going to be like, okay, I've made this one decision before, uh, but it turned out to be a mistake. You know, maybe you, you picked the cup with the uh, dragon in it and, it and it bit your hand off or something. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, okay, well, what am I going to do now? Because now I've got these similar looking cups here. Which the heck, what the heck am I going to choose here? Go within. Do the meditation. Listen to your body. If you think of something and it makes your stomach turn, that is not good for you. If you think of something and it makes your heart jump and feel like flying and uh, your, you know, your heart starts going and it makes you feel, well, there you go. Listen to your body. It'll help you. Okay. Now, this is the uh, energy that is in your fear right now. And this is the Queen of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords is the master of her mind. So I, immediately, without even looking at my notes, I'm feeling like you're afraid because it's your fear card. You're afraid you might be losing your mind. 
Um, you are afraid that you won't be a uh, master of your own mind. Right? Let's see what this says here. This is a bitter woman. Okay? Now I'm going to replace the word woman with feminine. Okay? Feminine energy. Lack of trust or emotional peace is what this deck says for the reversal. You know, and that makes sense. Because the Queen of Swords is in my other deck. You see how relaxed she is. She looks a little cold. She looks like she's shivering a little bit. She's wearing a, this one, she's wearing a purple cloak, which is uh, indicative of the brow chakra. She's wearing a blue dress, which is truth. Blue is the color of communication and truth. She's ho holding the Ace of Swords, the Sword of Michael, the Sword of Truth. Her unicorn is looking at you like, don't even think of messing with her because I will charge you and I will poke you with my horn. <laughs> Not gore you, just poke you. She's got dragons above her. So maybe the dragon in the cup isn't so bad for her, right? Because she's learned from pain. So I'm thinking that it's not just being bitter. That you're afraid that you haven't learned from this. The impaired judgment, the impaired logic, the potential to repeat the past mistakes. You are already afraid of this. You know this potential exists. This is your outcome, Gemini. It's you. This is your card. This is a major arcana card. So this energy is supposed to be. For a love relationship, you're going to do it. If you got burned before, you're going to do it anyway, maybe. This could also be a choice, like I said. Oh, no, that was the last reading. Oh, no, this reading. This is the choice. Look at how happy this person, he made a choice. Now he feels like he's got the whole world in his hand. Now, the lovers can be a choice, yes. The lovers can also be a partnership, not a love relationship, but a partnership. But this is definitely your card, Gemini. This is you. And it is right side up. This is a twin flame relationship. This is a, the, the, for me as a reader, temperance or the art card in, in my Thoth deck represents the balancing of the masculine and feminine in one person. It's the lovers, for me, that represents two masculine-feminine balanced people coming together. So if this is a love relationship, you may feel very strongly that this is your twin flame. Twin flames are very hard to stay away from. It doesn't always mean that you stay together, though. Twin flames are powerful couples they are power couples but they have to stay balanced to stay together if you start getting codependent if you start uh making the wrong decisions if if you if you're not a master of your mind now think about this okay the emperor represents the sacred masculine the empress represents the the sacred feminine. Now, the emperor is all the kings, whereas the empress is all the queens rolled up into one. They've mastered everything. They've mastered all the suits, like the queen of swords masters her mind. The queen of discs or, or pentacles uh, has mastered her health and her wealth and her money, and she's nurturing. And the queen of cups has mastered her emotions. She's emotionally available. And then you have the Queen of Wands who has mastered her power. She is confident. She is attractive. And then once you have mastered all of those elements, you become the Empress and you become abundant. 
Um, it's the same, uh, the same type deal with the kings and the emperor. So what this is basically is the emperor and the empress together. So if you recognize that this partnership is your twin flame, that is my advice to you, is to stay skilled, to stay a master of yourself, of the elements available to you, and definitely of your emotions and your intellect. You're being warned that there's an imbalance here in the first place. Now, twin flames are powerful together, but like I said, it doesn't always mean that you are to be together in this lifetime, hence the confusion, okay? Now, what we have here at the bottom of the deck for you is we have the emperor, okay? There he is, the sacred masculine. Look at him. He doesn't even look old in this particular deck. He has a young unicorn with him. But he doesn't look like somebody to mess with, does he? If you mess with his empress, he doesn't look like he would be very uh, happy about that. He is an emperor. Emperors start as, as knights. Then they get a kingdom. They become crowned and then they have a kingdom and then that they keep going they go on to di take another kingdom and another kingdom until they have an empire and then they are an emperor the masculine energies were just really i almost said severely but really adjusted through the mars and aries retrograde that we just went through um from i think it was the from october all the way through november 13th it, it took a, quite a while it might have been earlier than October. I can't remember anymore, but um, yeah, when that was over, I just, I was feeling all this relief. So I'm feeling like you're masculine. Look at him. He's right side up. So your, your masculine might be in balance, but what we have here is the upside down queen. Okay. So it could be that, well, and this is the, the minor arcana empress, even though she's not a queen yet. She's a, a, an independent feminine. So in a way, this is exactly what I'm saying. Your masculine is doing well. Your feminine, I think, needs work. Okay? Now, let's see what else we got here. The Ace of Swords. Okay, so that's, we all know that that's a victory. But here in the reversed, the reversed, reversed is frustrations and setbacks need to be patient answer to a question is no okay let's see what else we got here and the five of rods five of rods upright is conflict and stuff quarrels uh squabbles differences of opinion we've got um oh the king of cups is reversed okay so this guy when he is uh right side up he is mature and trustworthy he's sensitive to emotions and all this stuff but when he's upside down he's possessive and jealous okay so there might be uh, see how your masculine goes from balance to possess possessive and jealous which brings oh a tower moment what what is that going to be yeah Okay, so the tower is um, a moment where where things change. It's huge upheaval, a big fat change. When it's upside down, that's the reversal of that. That's when you're stuck in a rut. That's when you're unhappy and unable to make a change. And I just think that this is this right here, this cup energy. Okay, you're going to have to do some serious thinking about this. Let's see, let's get one more here. The nine of rods. Okay, so the nine of rods this way is when um, you are feeling like the wounded warrior, like you're so flipping tired of this stuff and, and you've got one last battle to go. You're trying to rise from the darkness to the light, but this is in reverse. So this is the, um, it is rushing into a project, being impetuous. This is you needing to think twice. 
okay? You got to think twice before acting. And the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is um, working really hard and being the master, but when it's upside down, it means that you've lost interest in your work and that you need to find new interests. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, it looks like to me that you... Um, You've got some real, uh, you know, you've got some thinking to do. You've got some things to work out. Okay, you're going to be stuck uh, between your head and your heart. Okay, your heart, your emotions, your head, you know, air signs are usually stuck in their head a lot. But the heart wants what the heart wants, right? Whether or not it is good for you you've got to figure this out for yourself but you know what gemini i don't know if any of you ever watched that movie moonstruck uh with Cher, but uh, i was led to watch it the other day and um the speech that nicholas cage made at the end and he was telling her, love doesn't make things perfect. Nobody's perfect. The stars are perfect. We're not here to be perfect. And uh, love doesn't make things great and everything perfect. It, it breaks your heart. It makes a mess out of stuff. But we're not here to be perfect. We're here to experience life. So just remember, even if you follow your heart and it turns out to be the wrong thing, that doesn't mean failure. I don't believe in failure. I believe in lessons. I believe in learning. I believe in experience. Experiencing the experience of life. Okay? So if you end up making what you think is the wrong decision, don't regret it. Just learn from it and appreciate the, the gift that is life. Okay, so um, how many... Arcanas, major arcanas in your reading will determine how much control that you have over the situation. And you have one, and it's you. You. You have control over this decision. This very passionate, fiery decision. Okay? Every, everything else here is in your control. And it's this decision that you're going to make is a huge part of your divine blueprint. It's all about you. All right, Gemini, I think this was a great reading. I hope it resonated with you. See you next time.